This video is recorded to help my students understand how to use Microsoft Virtual Studio 2017 to build a Win console project. So you launch the Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. Then we'll get to the Get Started page. Well, we will start from here. You will go to the File, Create a New Project. So notice you should choose Empty Project option. Choose Empty Project option. So for example, I call it this CSCI 365 project. Then I click on OK. Now the system will begin creating this project. Notice you should not have any header files and don't have any default file, source file he gave to you. Then you right click on the source file, go to the add. You notice you have two add option. You have you can add existing items, you can add new items. In the future, if I give you some file, CPP file, you can download the CPP file from the Blackboard, save in some folder, then you choose this add existing items. You add those CPP files into your project. Uh, please notice your CPP file must add to a project before you can write. You cannot just directly open the CPP file to write. Now, for this one, since it's a new one, I don't have any file to add. I want to write my own file. So I choose the new item option. When you choose the new item option, you make sure you choose CPP file. Even if you want to write a .asm file, you still choose CPP file option. Then, of course, if you write a CPP file, your extension is CPP. If you write a .asm file, your extension will change to .asm. Here, let us first write a CPP file as an example first. Uh, for, for example, this is called, uh, you can call it uh, this project one.cpp, or for example, I put my name here, my initial project one.cpp. Okay, then I click on add. Now you can see you have uh, this editor uh, file, uh, the file open for you to edit it. So. You can put a comment. Include, uh, explain the project. Include uh, who is the author. Then include the date. You finish this. Uh, you begin to write this project. For example, then you uh, include IO stream, then use the namespace std, then you can write some other function declaration. For this example, we just write a very simple code main function, uh, print out a hello world. then go to do line. Now, in order to hold the screen for Microsoft Virtual Studio, you will type uh, system pause. This is used to hold the screen. Return zero. Now, you finish your project. Notice, once you finish your project, you have two ways to write. One way is you debug first. If you go to here, you will say build. You have an option called compile. You can compile it first. Okay, uh, compile successfully, then you can build a solution. Okay, build a solution. The solution build successfully, then can, you can write. Now, I think uh, you can uh, run the code on the and the solution. No, we thought that you, you want to run the code, you, you just write here. Okay, now this is. That's it. Now, if you change something, for example, I do some change. You can go over the process I just did. You also can directly just click from here. You just directly say, I want to write. If you want to write, 
He will ask you, what do you like to build it? You will say, yes. So it will first compile, then build it, then run the program. Okay? So if you have any questions, please give me an email.